Hi, Leo. Okay, so for your awareness for the week, we have the King of Wands and the High Priestess. The King of Wands is an energy here where we see success, we see competence, we see uh, virility and, and vigor. And it's really seizing the world uh, by its tail for yourself and within your life and within your community. It's being active and taking action. It's looking for the gusto within life, not willing to watch life pass you by. So the King of Wands is charismatic, charming, very motivated and ambitious and wants to be successful in all of his endeavors. And so he knows how to work the crowd. He knows how to work the group. He knows how to network, mingle, and to put things together. So this is a wonderful awareness for the week for you, which is to take charge of your, of the matters within your life, which is what needs attending to be in charge of it and make things happen, you know, kick the dust up. So, you know, make a call, get a group together, get a mastermind group, whatever it may be, take responsibility and put yourself in situations where you can meet people either to help you professionally or within a hobby. Some of you, maybe you're in the dating game. It would be um, simple awareness for you to, to make the effort to take the chances to put yourself out there to play quote unquote, the game of dating where you have plenty of good dates and maybe not so good dates, but you keep at it. So it's a very much a can do attitude. So with this active presence of the King of Wands, we have the high priestess and the high priestess on the other hand is telling you to be still, be calm, be tranquil. And while you're meditating, while you are relaxing, while you, you are reflecting maybe in solitude or making the time for yourself to restore your mindset or your energies, it's an opportunity for you to connect with yourself intuitively, to trust yourself, your own um, guides, your hunches, listen to your dreams, see the messages. It's important. You know yourself better than anyone else. And so the high priestess is saying, pay attention to these messages that you receive. They're important. And everyone has this psychic ability. Everybody can receive. You simply have to open up the channel and you have to be ready to allow it in. So the high priestess brings us to a point of stillness and center centeredness within yourself. And finding that altar space or finding the space that you create within your home to meditate and to reflect on what's within you, the depths of your own soul. So let's take a look at guidance for the week. So in terms of guidance, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, and we have the Eight of Swords. So the wheel of fortune goes to the idea that in life, in the universe, in the world, it's always spinning. The cycles are in play, the, the seasons, everything is changing. And within our own life, we have moments where we have good fortune and moments where we have less than good fortune. And you have to be able and you have to be capable and you have to be ready to deal with the wheel of fortune, which is whatever comes your way whether it's great news or whether it's lousy news, you have to make it work for yourself. You have to understand that there's a, the peaks and valleys of life and you have to be able to ride through them. For some of you, you may feel that things are in motion, that, that the pace is picking up, spinning and movement. Um, maybe it's not the best time to make a firm decision. Maybe it needs, things need to settle down a bit. But certainly with the Wheel of Fortune, it can be great luck coming your way. Perhaps you get good news. Perhaps fortune smiles upon you. It also could be going the other way. And it's a matter of scrambling to stay on top of the wheel. So 
with this Wheel of Fortune here, we have the Eight of Swords. In the Eight of Swords, we see the woman here encircled by the swords, blindfolded and bound. This is a feeling where we have doubt and we have, uh, we may feel restricted, we may feel oppressed, we may feel that we're being held in, captive, where we're not allowed our, we're not allowed to let our ideas fly or to have freedom. Something may feel like we're getting crushed. And so we're blindfolded and we're bound. We may feel trapped. And you know, it can simply be a moment in time when you feel down, when you feel negative, when you have self-doubt, when you think that things aren't going your way. You know, if this wheel gave you some bad news, you may feel that, you know, you can't catch a break. So what I would say with the Eight of Swords in terms of guidance is, you know, you're going to have to reframe your thinking. And despite being blindfolded, despite having bound, you know, the body bound, your feet are still free. And if she wanted to, she could crawl, she could walk, she could try to make that step away from this sense. Sometimes you get a sense of helplessness, but you have to be ready to say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get out of this mindset that is not allowing me to feel free or to feel the opportunity to grow. It could be one small step, one small thing that you do each day to help rebuild confidence or to give yourself a purpose in moving forward. So in terms of possible outcomes, we have the Emperor, Major Arcana, and we have the Page of Pentacles. So the Emperor brings out, again, similar to the King of Wands, experience, wisdom, being very capable, looking out for the benefit of others, more or less uh, looking for the good for the community, for the, the group, so long as everyone follows the rules and the structure. So number one, with the Emperor, possible outcomes for you, you're taking charge. You're taking the leadership role, whether that's in a relationship, whether it's in your personal development or your growth, um, whether it is, uh, again, career-wise, something that you're doing, you're taking control. You are becoming the authority. And you're making decisions that are going to benefit yourself and work within the structure of your life. And so it's very powerful between the King of Wands here and the Emperor. Because the Emperor, the Emperor can be inflexible and perhaps rigid, but sometimes leadership takes uh, dogged determination. And so for your own self, you have to be very clear on what you want to achieve and what you want to do. And you have to follow it and pursue it. And here's it's taking action. Perhaps it's getting away from this Eight of Swords negative feeling. It's to reclaim your power. Reclaim your authority. And go from there. So with the possible outcomes of the Emperor, we have the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is knowledge. It's building knowledge. It's this youthful page. So whether you have someone within your life who's young, who's earnest, who wants to learn, who's devoted to study, to doing all the things according to plan. Maybe this is you and maybe you are seeking more information on how to proceed, on how to build your own empire, on how to make your life more favorable. In order for you, you know, maybe there's spiritual development here where you're working on your mindset about life and how the wheel of fortune is turning. You know, it's about the pursuit of knowledge. It's also the idea of common sense and hard work and being very focused on what you want to achieve. I think that there's a lot of focus here with the King of Wands and the Emperor for you to move forward and for you to, to handle anything that comes your way. It's applying your smarts and your common sense and uh, perhaps not being distracted. So very interesting cards for you, Leo. Let's see what we have in terms of an affirmation for the week.
passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Great advice, and particularly this week for those that are with friends and family or having a feast, a holiday feast, savor your life, savor your friends, your experiences, everything that comes to you. A beautiful piece of advice. And finally, let's see what we have in terms of love. Detachment, you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. So I think that's important because it is self-awareness and again, it's taking action. When you detach, you are consciously making that decision to separate and to remove the obstructions that get in your way, the obstacles that block you from flowering or uh, flourishing as your best self. So Leo, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment below. Have a wonderful holiday week, and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.